Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through the final module of the KPMG internship. Um, it's going to probably be split into two parts, but I'm going to film both today. So they're going to be released one after another. Yeah, so quickly, let's just get right into it. So first things first, this is the, the PowerPoint. I'm just going to quickly run through it with you guys. Simple intro, outlining the problem, um, the contents. Then I'm just going over what we said in the email. So this is just the cleanup stage, looking at the data. And we've got our little table here. Yeah, and then um, the things that we went through last time, I've just uh, formatted it and put it into the PowerPoint. <clears throat> so bike related purchases split by gender. So we see the majority of the customers are female but it's pretty even um, and we have a comparison between new and old customer lists in terms of job industry distribution again they're kind of even but you obviously have some jobs um, that are that there are more of uh, and then we have wealth segment um, by age so here clearly mass customers are the target and then some very interesting information here about um, car zones. So New South Wales seems to be uh, the target state for Sprocket Central. Yeah, and this is um, just a quick overview of RFM analysis. Uh, basically, it's just used to find the, the best customers for Sprocket Central to target. And it's just a quick chart overview of how it works. And then we're just comparing um, some things against one another. So recency against monetary um, through the scatter plot. We can see something that's interesting. So some, someone that bought recently correlates with high value and someone who bought a long time ago correlates with lower value. And here's another scatter plot frequency against monetary and um, frequency against recency. So similar thing, someone who, re who purchased recently also purchases quite frequently. And then we have a customer definitions list, which, which I will go over at some point. Um, and then just some more distribution here. And then the whole goal is to target thousand, the, th the top thousand customers. So that's, what, uh, that's basically what this table does with um, that cumulative and customer selection. And yeah, that's basically just um, a quick overview of everything that's happening. So the first thing we need to do is uh, create this dashboard. Um, I'm just doing it on Excel. You can do it using Power BI, but I can't run it on my Mac. So we're just gonna use Excel. And first thing we're gonna start off in transactions uh, and we are going to create a new cell. Um, just waiting for it to load. Come on. There we go. And we're going to call this uh, transaction month. So we're going to use the transaction date to the left. And we're going to go 4Ms, close, and that will give us the month. 3Ms will give you an abbreviated month. There we go, so that, that's that's all the all the months of the date. So we, we're trying to be a bit less specific, so I'm just adding another category here. It's gonna help us when we create our pivot table. Select all of it. Okay, that's enough. And then we're gonna insert our pivot table. customer ID, transaction month, and wealth segment. Actually, no ID. Yeah, we need profit. 
So we're just gonna, we need to make sure that we split this up correctly. Okay, that looks better. And we are going to change sum of profit to average. So we see the average base of each um, wealth segment spent basically. Profit gained by the company. Okay, I'm gonna change this actually. There we go, that, 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 looks, that looks a bit nicer, easier to understand. So we're gonna add that into our, um, into our dashboard and we're just gonna continue the process with a bunch of different graphs. Um, the, the questions um, we're trying to answer are from uh, uh, online on KPMG. So we have two more distributions here. Those are just taken from the PowerPoint. Okay, and now um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through how I made those distributions. Uh, so we're going to select all these RFM values that we went through over last time. Don't worry about the extra stuff. That was me playing around trying to figure out how to show this to you guys. So last time I split it up into quartiles and I think that worked well, but it needs to be, um, I think that was too concise. So we're going to make it a little bit more complicated with uh, uh, like a, basically more different customer IDs, which is what you saw in the um, in the PowerPoint. So we're gonna add them. So first you have to sort them in ascending order, then we're gonna rank them, just um, better for us to understand, then fill that down. Okay. Then we're gonna use uh, a little bit of, um, a little bit of code um, that's gonna allow us to split it into deciles. So we're gonna go all the way from 10 to 100. Change that to 50, 60. Yeah, and then uh, just make sure that it's correct number down the bottom. Okay. So this is the code. Um, so we're going the, the last digit, so the last rank, which is three, four, nine, three, plus one, close bracket, and then we're multiplying it by um, basically like 10, 20 or 30 and so on, dividing by 100. There you go. And that gives us the, um, basically the, the, the number of rank for which we're looking for to get that correlating, um, percentage. So the, the 10th, 10th percent will be, uh, 351, um, because of the two columns. So I'll show you in a second. So basically we have just that's um, that will correlate correlate with uh, the number. Um, so the column, the number, the real number in the in AG will actually be three fifty one, because of the two two um, rows that are spaced at the beginning. And that's the that's the cell that we're gonna get. So one twelve, and then we're gonna keep going, keep going down with that. And so on. Okay, there we go. So that's all filled out. Just make sure you leave the zero blank. So the zero th is a, the zero is actually going to be one one one, which is the lowest RFM we have. So it's actually so we split up into deciles, but then we actually have eleven categories. And here's the table that kind of goes through them with with a loose definition. You can definitely tighten that up a little bit. And that's the that's the table that's that we see in the PowerPoint essentially. All right, so I've done this earlier. Um, it's similar to what we did before for the quartiles, if you watched that video, but instead we're doing it with deciles, which means a long code. So uh, I'm gonna I'm showing it to you guys here now, but I will also just drop it into the description of the video. Obviously, you might have to change your cell numbers and stuff, but everything else should stay the same if you want to if you want to um, use my method. Yeah. 
So just so you guys don't have to type it in. All right, so we're gonna go into the transaction list now and we're going to um, add a couple, uh, add, add basically the customer title information uh, using VLOOKUP. Uh, we're gonna use the customer ID and then go into the other table to um, get our table array. Just select this whole table and then we need the um, oops sorry one second okay Two. yeah don't forget the dollar signs and false for an exact match. Yeah, and fill that down. So now we have this, uh, we can basically use it in uh, future pivot tables. So we're gonna create one more here. So it's a bit slow. Great, so we're gonna uh, we're going to use those new customer titles that we just created with profit. So just rearrange it again to make it make more sense. Make change that to. I'm just gonna change the profit I think to average. Yeah, so just like before, and then we can create a nice looking graph from that. Get rid of the blanks. Just making sure everything looks good. Okay, so um, yeah, essentially we can have a pie chart, we can have a bar graph, and I'll probably incorporate both. We can put them as percentages as well. Um, and on our dashboard, it's gonna look something like this, already formatted, just to save some time. Yeah, so that's um, as numbers, just as values, and then we have percentages as well. So, that's going to be it for today, um, not for today, for this video, and I'll go through the rest next time. I hope the PowerPoint was useful, uh, and we're fine, we're almost there, okay, so stay tuned for that last video.